Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve Litcode MyD 781 Rabbits in Forest. This problem is based on the concept of hash table and greedy and asked in companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, Zapto, Amazon. It is marked as medium but it will be easy to understand. Just stay with me. Let's have a look at the problem statement. There is a forest with unknown number of rabbits and we, uh, we asked n rabbits how many rabbits have the same color as you. So this query was asked to n rabbits that how many rabbits have the same color as you. Let's say we are asking any rabbit one that how many rabbits are there with the same color as you and he says that there are two rabbits. It means in total we are having these three rabbits with the same color. And collected the answer in a teaser array answers where answers i is the answer of ith rabbit. Now we are given an array answers written the minimum number of rabbit that could be in the forest. We have to minimize the answer minimum number of rabbits that can be in the forest. So this is the problem statement that we asked n rabbits this query how many rabbits have the same color as you and their answers is are captured in this answers array and we have to tell now what can be the least possibility minimum possibility of rabbits in the forest. Now let's have a look on this example answers array is given to us and in this array we ask three rabbits uh, this query and the answer is 1 1 and 2 rabbit 1 is saying that there is one more rabbit with the same color so apart from rabbit 1 there is one more rabbit and both are having the same color let's say that color is red and after that I asked another rabbit let's say this this rabbit at index 1 and this rabbit is also saying that we I, I'm have, that there is one more rabbit with the same color it means that to keep the answer minimized there might be the possibility that these two rabbits belong to this this group the same group if they are belonging to the same group only in that case we are going to minimize the answer so in this way we have to apply the greedy here that rabbit one is coming from a group where apart from rabbit one there is one rabbit with the same color and let's say this is the rabbit two and rabbit 2 is also saying that apart from me there is one more rabbit with the same color to keep it minimized to mi minimize the number of rabbits in the forest there is a possibility that these two are from the same group right and if the value at the answer is 1 it means the uh, group size is always 1 plus 1 with the value plus 1 so now it is clear that okay these two rabbits might belong to the same group r1 and r2 belong to the same group let's say that group is having color red now there is third rabbit and third rabbit is saying that apart from me there is two more rabbits with the same color this shows that it is definitely from a different group because these three rabbits are, are with the same color otherwise uh, it would be from uh, the previous previous group so now um, as they are from the different group let's say this group is having blue color and this r3 is having two more rabbits r4 and r5 these all these all three rabbits are from a different group than this red one so ultimately we came to know that to keep it minimized we are keeping these two values in this in the one group and this r3 in the second group now answer was given by three rabbits r1 r2 and r3 but as r3 is from this group and there might be the possibility that there is two more rabbits in the forest this is for sure because otherwise this uh, validation won't be true so in total how many rabbits are there two from the first group three from the second group we are having five rabbits so five rabbits are the five is the minimum number of rabbits in the forest and that is something we achieved by applying greedy to keep in mind that okay r1 and r3 belong to the same group if let's say r1 is belonging to a different group and r2 is belonging to a different group they are having answer equal to one it means there is one more rabbit apart from r1 and r2 so let's say that rabbit is r3 and r4 okay this is true this is true and now apart from this r3 we are having r let's say r5 
R5 is from a different group where two more rabbits are there. R6, R7. This possibility is also true, but we are not going to consider this possibility. Why? Because we have to minimize the result. Right? So we will always consider that if the rabbit have this, uh, if the uh, rabbit with same answers, they will definitely be belonging to the same group. So rabbit one is saying that, okay, there is two more rabbits with the same color. So it means rabbit with the same values might belong to the same group. Now this is the answers array and first rabbit is saying that there is one more rabbit with the same color. So, okay, uh, the group size, group size is always i plus one. So value at i plus one, value at i plus one, this is the group size, which is two. This will also be from the from the same group. Why? Because these values are same. If these values are same, we can accommodate these rabbit in the same group. And this value is different. So it will definitely be from a different group. So if somehow I am able, I, I just capture the frequency. Thus one is coming two times. One answer is coming two times and two answer is coming one time. This is my key and this is my value. One answer is coming two times and one answer means the group size is two. Two group size are there and these two elements will belong to that group and value two means there is a group size which is three and this one element will belong to that group and there will be two more elements are there. So group size is two and group size is three ultimately how many elements are there two plus three which is five so this is something we can do capturing the frequency frequency of these answers answers by the rabbits and these answers by the rabbit are going to give us the idea how many different groups are there different type of groups are there and in those groups we are going to fit these rabbits but um, but here uh, one special condition might arise that let's say instead of 1 1 1 we are having 2 2 2 let's firstly see this value 2 2 2 it means this rabbit 1 is from a group which is of size 3 so rab group size is equal to 3 which is value plus 1 always rabbit 1 is from this and there is rabbit 2 as well rabbit 3 as well and we are not sure what what where these whether these rabbits have answered or not but to keep the answer minimized these rabbits will be giving the answer first so rabbit 2 is also having uh, two rabbits with the same color so rabbit 2 is from the same group rabbit 3 is from the same group so ultimately it is one group of size 3 so the answer is 3 in this case but if i try to keep it 4 let's say if i just add one more 2 into this 2 2 2 2 this is rabbit 1 rabbit 2 rabbit 3 and rabbit 4 rabbit 1 is having answer 2 it means two more rabbits are there with the same group and if it is 2 the group size is 3 so rabbit 1 rabbit 2 rabbit 3 from from the same group and the value is also same for these three as well so these three might belong to a certain group and what about this four rabbit so this four rabbit is definitely be from a different group because this group size is always three and also here the group size is three but the color might be different and if rabbit four is from this group it means two more other rabbits will always will also be in this forest so how many groups we are able to form with this value will be able to form two groups and how do I get to know this? See, uh, earlier we capture, we capture the frequency of every single answer. So answer two is coming four times in this case. So this is my key and value. Answer two is coming four times. It means group three, group of size three, we have to figure out out of these many rabbits because n rabbits gave me the answer. So apart from these four rabbits, I need to form a group of size three so what I can do is these three rabbits are from the first group and this will be the from the second group. 
so if i have to divide 4 into group of size 3 first one will be 3 second one will be 1 so ultimately i'm getting two groups two groups means two into group size the to total number of elements so four rabbits can be divided into two groups there are two groups and group size is 3 which is always 2 plus 1 so the answer is 6 so this is how we need to calculate the number of rabbits in the forest <coughs> and how do I get to know the number of groups number of groups 4 we can take something like this 4 modulus uh, 4 divided by 3 directly see 4 is something a group of size 3 plus group uh, plus one more rabbit is there so if I just divide 4 by 3 it will be 1 point something so point something it signifies the second group and this one it signifies the first group so ultimately what we have to do is we have to take seal of it ceiling of it ceiling of 4 divided by 3 and make sure that you are you are converting it to float before taking the ceiling so value divided by group size and what is the group size group size is k plus 1 so this is the formula we can use First of all, we can capture the uh, capture frequency of similar answers. Similar answers means, let's say in this case, all were two. Similar answers are two. So two is coming four times. I've captured the frequency. And frequency means these rabbit I have to divide into groups. So d these rabbits will be divided into group of size two plus one. So divided with two plus one directly and take a seal of it. Ceiling of it going to give me the number of groups. Right, so this is something we have to do. And what we did here is first of all, I need to capture the frequency. And as per the constraints, let me see how the value goes. The values are going till 1000, and the length is 1000. A value is also till 1000. So if so, I can directly take a custom hash table. I am taking a custom hash table with array of size 1001 so that last index is 100, first index is 0, 1, 2 and so on. So in this array, I am going to capture the frequency of these answers. So 2 is coming 4 times. So this will be like this. 4, 4, uh, this value will be 4 and all the other value will be 0. So this is my first step, capture the frequency. And second one is for every frequency i need to cap i need to capture the minimum number of minimum number of groups uh, yeah groups we have to form and to uh, and to capture that i will be iterating over this hash array and first first of all i see that two answer is coming four times the key is two value is four it means i need to figure out how many groups will be there of size 2 plus 1 that I will figure out by taking 4 divided by 2 plus 1 and take a seal of it I have taken the seal and this is the number of groups number of groups into and what is the group size group size was key plus 1 key plus 1 so this is the group group, uh, group size and this will be added to my answer so this is something we have to do for every frequency where the value is greater than zero. It means for every frequency present in this hash table. So this is something we have to do. And uh, yes, uh, that's all we uh, we can do in this ad, uh, in this problem. And here we are going greedy by just assuming that uh, these three rabbits are from the same group if they are giving the same answer. Now let's have a look at the time and space complexity of this approach. Firstly, uh, what is this table? This table is this table is of fixed size one double zero one. Why this? Because the maximum value of this frequent uh, element, this answer array, can go till one thousand. So that's why I have taken this array. So order of n size, order of n time to capture this frequency, and order of n size to store this frequency an order of n time to calculate the answer so ultimately it's order of n time and order of n space 
time and space. Now let's write the code for this approach and you will be able to understand it further how I'm going to put these conditions. First of all, I need to capture the frequency of every answer i and this value will go till 1000 given in the constraints. So let me take it hash is equal to new integer of size 1001 because the value is going till 1000 and let me take the n length of this answers answers dot length and uh, for every i don't require this answer dot length for every answer answers just capture the frequency frequency of this answer is incremented by one now I need to store my answer and answer means the total number of rabbit we are going to have and ultimately that is something I have to return and for that I will be iterating over this hash table int i is equal to 0 i less than 1001 i plus plus if hash of i is equal to equal to 0 I don't have to do anything just continue in that case otherwise something will be added to my answer and what is that first of all number of groups number of groups are total number of elements number of groups is uh, total number of times the answer is coming and total number of times the answer is coming is value and the value is hash of i divided by number size of the group the size of the group is i plus 1 why i plus 1 because let's say the answer is 3 it means that rabbit is saying that there is three more rabbit with the same color so in total in that group it will be four rabbits in short so this is the value and uh, this also need to be converted to double why because integer divided by integer is always integer and uh, once it is double I will be taking the seal seal of this value double hash of i this is my answer value and divided by number of how many times this answer value is coming and divided by the number of groups so now I have the total number of groups total number of groups of size i plus 1 and total number of groups we are having and we also have to multiply it with number of rabbits in those groups so this is going to give me the rabbit count the total number of groups into rabbit count per group so every group let's say uh, i i had the value 2 and this is my answer i and this answer i i have captured the frequency in hash of i and for let's say 2 is coming uh, 4 times so hash of i is 4 and i plus 1 is the size size is 3 so 4 divided by 3 taking the seal value is 2 group is 2 and every group is having 3 elements so 3 into 6 2 in, in equal to 6 so 6 rabbits we are going to have for this example let's turn over sample test cases sample test cases are passed I'm submitting the problem it was submitted successfully and I hope you understood the approach. In case you get any doubt, you can comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.